Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 14th, 2022. Well, it's Valentine's Day, everyone, and hopefully you remembered your significant other for Valentine's Day. But unfortunately, the market is not feeling all that festive this morning. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information on this Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. My goodness, we have a little bit of a wild morning setting up today, and we have probably a challenging week ahead. But let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out what we might want to do for the day. If we take a look here, we had that Dow. It was attempting to break that downtrend and pushed above the 50-day moving average. But unfortunately, hotter than expected of inflation. Um, kind of turned the, the tide to the bearish side and then consumer sentiment came along on Friday morning and kicked us while we were down and we saw some more selling into the end of the week. Unfortunately here in the diamonds we gave up this little price support here in the chart by the close of Friday. However, we still have, you know, cross your fingers a little bit of hope that we might hold a price support in here. Unfortunately, as you can see, the pre-market, we're looking at a gap down. We have bearish markets around the world this morning um, adding to that pressure. So uh, I got to tell you, I don't think we, I don't think we can rule out the possibility that we could test the January low. But having said that, here in the Dow, notice we still have pretty good support level through here. So we may not have to go all the way down to that tail. Um, but doggone it, it's not looking too good this morning. So we're going to have to watch this pretty carefully. The bears seem to be in control. And it seems that as we have all of this uncertainty in the market and these Russian Ukrainian tensions, continuing to cause problems along with a Fed rate increase and oh my goodness, inflation, inflation, inflation. So watch this closely here in the market. Obviously pretty bearish situation. Now if we do find a reason for those bulls to get a little bit invigorated here, then what we're going to want to watch is this level right through here uh, for some resistance in the chart. If we start to pop back up, notice right across there we got these tails. If we start to pop back up, up, that'll be provide some resistance and of course that downtrend um, could also provide resistance um, to those charts and let's keep in mind that we uh, on Friday not only failed the 50-day moving average but we slid right on through that 200-day moving average like you know a hot knife through butter so um, pretty rough situation technically here in the chart let's take a look at our um, SPY now unfortunately SPY really no better situation um, as you can see we were trying we squeaked out of that downtrend there just just momentarily uh, and then we ended up reversing at this price resistance level in the chart and unfortunately on Friday we did give up this little price support level we have a little tiny bit here but it looks like this morning we're gapping down below that so I think guys we kind of have to we kind of have to say there is a high probability that we could retest these lows here in the market and uh, continuing to follow that downtrend. Um, what we would really like to not see, I think probably, is for us to set a new low because a lower high followed by a lower low, that could be a problem. If we could push down and test here, maybe just double bottom, that would be, um, well, that would be a hopefulness in the market that we could rally back back up and test some resistance levels. If those bulls do find reason for um, some upside move, we'll want to keep an eye on these resistance levels in the chart uh, moving back up. And of course that downtrend, obviously any rally back up into here would set up that opportunity for more downside. So watch that closely. And then those QQQs, by golly QQQs, pretty strongly to the downside this morning. 
looking kind of bearish here and we're continuing to follow this downtrend in here we did try to squeak out of there just a tiny little bit last week but unfortunately we gave up all of this support on friday into the close which pretty much ensures that we're going to retest um, the support lows here in the chart that we saw in january and you can see that's a fairly good area of support in here so if we can push down in there and hold that that would be a, a relatively good sign if we could hold that support of course if we continue to follow our trend here we could easily set that new low here in the nasdaq with all the pressures that we have again crossing your fingers hoping that we can catch this as a double bottom support um, would be great and if those bulls can start fighting back find something in here in the market here to be bullish about then we could push up and maybe test some resistance in the chart but uh, we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do a lot of work to break that downtrend and then the russell you know that russell is just um well, doggone it, the chart's just a mess. That's all there is to it. Um, it held up probably better than the other indexes on Friday. Noticing that we are still in this major downtrend, we have a substantial resistance level above. But notice right here, we kind of held on to this little uptrend. So the Russell's trying to hang in there a little bit better. And what it may be trying to do is just kind of complete this move out here toward the downtrend before um, it finds uh, more sellers. Now, keep in mind, if we were to, uh, if the bears were to really engage and fall in here, if we were to drop below this level in here, guys, there's really not much price support in here until we come all the way down into the 160 and it's probably 168 169 area when you pull this back and look at that price support right there so 160 um, 168 169 maybe just a little bit higher we might find a little bit of support in there if those bears were to get going and of course if those bulls can get moving off of this little upside trend we're going to want to watch this price resistance right in here and then of course we just have a brick wall of resistance above that so i'm not overly bullish here on the market here in the russell that it's going to see any big upside moves anytime soon then let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX uh, made a push out here, um, pushed up pretty high on Friday, but as you can see, it ended up pulling back just a little bit. So we found some price resistance um, in that chart and broke through that price resistance, as you can see, extends way back here. So we found that price resistance and unfortunately, we did fail that um, uptrend just a little bit but right back through that so um, obviously price volatility will remain high fear remains high as our VIX um, stays elevated here so be really careful here in the market it could be a very very challenging week ahead let's take a look at our T2122 now unfortunately our T2122 we didn't quite make it I know it feels like oh my gosh the selling has to stop here eventually but we still have not reached the oversold condition here in T2122 so that means we still have considerable downside possibility and with a gap down this morning it's and certainly is possible that we could reach down into here um, even really early this morning um, on the trade and then we could possibly catch that bounce so watch that carefully in here if we do reach down here into that very bullish area or bearish um, um, area here in the market we might catch that bullish rever reversal maybe um, we lighten up on the pressure here just a little bit once we reach down there and again that's a maybe um, with all the tensions out there um, we could certainly linger down in this area for a while then let's take a look at our t2108 and i gotta tell you the t2108 um, T2108 does give me a little bit of hope that if we push down into that bearish or that bullish reversal zone, um, that we have a little chance of an improvement. Because notice here, 
Although we pulled back on Friday um, in our T2108, it wasn't as bad as you would have expected um, with the selling that we saw. So kind of keep an eye on that. Although we're still in this downtrend, there is that little bit of hope here maybe that we might catch some price support in here on this pullback and still bounce. So watch that carefully, but obviously it is pretty darn bearish and I'm just, you know, um, I may be projecting here just a little bit, trying to find a little bit of hope in the market. And then T2107 would be the same kind of thing. Um, it pulled back on Friday, but certainly wasn't as bad as I would have expected um, seeing the selling coming in as strong as it did. So keep a close eye on that as um, well. Uh, as we gap down this morning, we certainly could change that dramatically but we have a lot of resistance above this chart downtrending is still in play so we got a lot of work here to do and last but not least our t2101 the absolute market breadth um kind of an interesting thing normally we see that breadth um rise on a selling market but what was interesting is it actually continued to pull back. So surprisingly here, we're pushed down into uh, below that support level, um, kind of an odd circumstance. So let's keep a close eye on that. I'm not exactly sure what this means, um, if we're gonna continue to sink in here or if we bounce, but a little bit on the odd side here in T2101. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and i'll tell you today we don't have a whole lot going on here uh, for economic numbers you can see we've got a three-month bill auction and a six-month bill auction and of course uh, we want to continue to pay attention to those as those bond yields continue to remain under pressure but unfortunately guys this week we're going to have a challenging week ahead Notice right in here, we're gonna get another inflationary reading with the producer prices on Tuesday. Now, of course, producer prices um, are another inflationary factor that are really, really important. And right now, expectations are that could come in pretty hot. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that. That could be just another, another kick to the kick to the side of the head here in the market if that comes in really hot. Um, and then we've got that Empire State Manufacturing, which is kind of that early reading on manufacturing impacts. Let's take a look then as we progress through the week. This is going to be a challenging week. Then we're going to have retail sales. And I got to tell you, with consumer sentiment coming in really low, I think there's a little bit of tension as to how those retail sales might come in in January. Keep an eye on that. Industrial production. And then, um, of course, we've got the FOMC minutes coming out on Wednesday, and there's always an anticipation of that, particularly with the uncertainty that we see right now about maybe the Fed becoming more hawkish and more aggressive in raising rates. And then later in the week, we're gonna have a bunch of housing data, and we remember um, last time that housing data was a little bit disappointing. We're starting to see some pressure in that, that housing data because inflation is impacting the way consumers are out there shopping. So watch that closely closely as we progress through the week. Could be pretty darn challenging. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, um, we've got about 100 companies listed on the calendar, calendar, but we have quite a number of them that are unconfirmed reports. So really not all that many notables for today that are actually confirmed. And um, we're gonna ramp up throughout the week as we normally do. And there are some notables this week or market movers um, this week that could, well, who knows if they'll inspire the bulls or the bears. And we'll talk about those as we get there. But for today, let's take a look. Probably our no most notable this morning is gonna be Advanced Auto. Keep an eye on that one as it reports. Obviously been a little bit of a bearish move here in that, but keep a close eye. Um, ALX is another um, reporting today. It looks like this real estate um, trust is getting hit pretty hard this morning on its report. So watch that closely. Um, KRG, KRG, another real estate re trust reporting. We've got CAR in there reporting uh, and uh, VNO is another that we'll want to be 
paying attention to here today. Now, if you want the full list of notables, if you could click that link just below the title of the video, guys, that'll take you back to the morning blog. And um, as the week ramps up, you'll definitely want to be going back to that blog to catch those uh, notables for the day. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful in your planning of the day, if you could please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to grow and I just want to say I truly, truly appreciate everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, but please keep in mind, guys, boy, this is this could be a really challenging and dangerous week. Um, there could be an awful lot of uncertainty, a lot of price gyrations. Um, right now, the, the White House is suggesting that there could be an invasion by the Ukraine by as early as Wednesday. And we could have lots of bullish things happening in the market, and then that, that occur, and that could change everything in about half a heartbeat. So make sure you're prepared for that. And one of the things that I want to suggest to folks, if you're not um, an experienced trader, it's really, really difficult to have an edge in a market like this. So it may be better to just consider standing on the sidelines or, or maybe opening up a paper trade and practicing in that to practice your skills because it is going it could really be a challenging week um, in price volatility with all this data coming our way and all of this uncertainty that is kind of plaguing the market experienced day traders will probably have the upper hand and it'll likely be uh, likely be a situation where um, swing traders position traders will have a very difficult time holding on to any kind of an edge um, with uh, likely intraday whipsaws possibly overnight reversals so if you are planning to trade make sure you're going to be a little bit quicker on that trigger to take some profits because we know not only can we shift overnight but we can shift and we've seen it here recently within the hour we can shift so make sure um, if you're trading um, be kind of quick on taking those profits when that money starts coming into um, those trades let's take a look at a few of these charts that i've been paying attention to um, I, i'm not going to tell you that anything long is going to be the best thing in the world but let's take a look at a chart um, like lulu i was watching this for a potential trade and one of the things guys i want to i want to suggest to you is taking a look at placing price alerts on a chart and i don't know where i had that drawing on here but if you take a look um, what I had done is I had placed a price alert up here and I said if Lulu can hold this higher low there's that downtrend break if it could hold that higher low then alert me when it pops now one of the great things about doing that guys and particularly in a volatile market like this you can notice that when it fails it didn't cost me anything one of the problems that I find a lot of people getting involved in uh, the folks that I'm working with and coaching is they see a decent pattern and they anticipate the move rather than waiting for it to show itself and with the volatility of the market I think that's kind of a dangerous place to be so make sure you make that stock prove to you that direction so you can see how quickly a bullish pattern here can just fall apart really really fast and retest lows and possibly even move on down one of the things that we're seeing a lot of here recently is we've been popping up and breaking some downtrend trends in the charts but then we're not seeing those downtrend breaks actually hold so it's kind of a head fake situation in the market and we jump in thinking everything is going to be grand um, it's finally time to buy the dip and then boom we move on down and and I'll tell you that is one of the symptoms of a uh, bearish market or a bear market um, we get a lots of false bullish head fakes and, and that can trick us into the trade. So watch those carefully, place those price alerts and wait for those positions to occur. Now, having said that, guys, I think we do have to consider um, some bearish trades and you don't have to be um, 
you don't have to necessarily take directional bearings trades. Uh, for example, um, let me show you here. I have um, IWM bear call credit spreads in this chart. I actually have two of them here um, in the chart. Um, these are looking very profitable this morning um, and looking good. I'm also doing some bearish trades um, on the SPY. As a matter of fact, um, we picked this up on Wednesday, I believe, and um, we're all already up almost 50% in that trade. So watch things like that. Look for those little opportunities to pick up some money without having to take a lot of risk. If you're not familiar with spread trading, then look for those charts that have really good setups for a potential short. Um, because it may be a wise thing to pick up some puts, to have a mix of trades. You, it would be certainly okay to have some long positions. Anything in the energy sector right now seems to be just phenomenally bullish and will likely continue as long as the tensions continue between Russia and Ukraine. So there's good charts there. There's also good charts in like some of the refining and oil exploration areas. Take a look at Valero very very strong here uh, breaking these downtrends moving up sharply breaking through resistance levels I wouldn't want to chase it here but a little rest or pullback would set up those opportunities you could also look at some of the the more um, conservative safety type stocks like Philip Morris. Philip Morris had a good week last week while the market was selling off. And notice in here, this is just one of those strong dividend paying companies that folks will search for um, when the market is uncertain and will be looking for um, a little bit of safety here, a little dividend, that kind of thing. Keep an eye on uh, Philip Morris. You might want to keep an eye on Altria. Now, Altria hasn't made its move yet. It's still challenged by this resistance in the chart, but it's trying. And if you look at the bigger pattern here, we've broken that downtrend in here and we're trying to hold that pattern um, positive. So if it has that opportunity to find some bullishness, it might eventually pop on up out of there. So look for some of the stocks like, uh, like those. Um, um, if you take a look at like uh, KDP, Carrick Dr. Pepper, it's trying to hold up in here. Uh, obviously possible double top this could be failing but notice overall we're still holding on to that trend we see uh, some good potential moves here in coca-cola still holding after this big breakout obviously last few days pulling back and it can be negatively affected here for sure but watch that carefully um, i've been seeing something kind of interesting here in heavy equipment we've seen caterpillar and cummins um, falling and falling and falling and not looking too good but notice here in John Deere um, we're really really close to a potential breakout now this could also set up as a pretty good short and keeping in mind that it is going to report here um, this week so you want to keep an eye on that but um, there are some good charts out there there are some places to be looking um, I think GLD is certainly a place that we could look some of the miners for bullish trades notice how we're breaking through some resistance levels here in the chart um, trying to show some bullishness here overall um, that was a big surge on Friday so any rest or pullback might set up an opportunity you could look at stocks like um, uh, GDX oops I could type um, stocks like GDX, the gold miners ETF, big surge on Friday. Now, watch right in here. We're trying to break that downtrend and push through, but we've broken some support or some resistance in the chart. So watch for that opportunity that might move up. So gold miners, gold, um, you might take a look at um, silver SLV surge pretty substantially on Friday as well, perking up. So there may be some precious metals trying to come around as the market it gets very very uncertain here so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading it's interesting to note that as i've uh, done this video all of a sudden we're getting a big bullish pop in the market so we've gone from almost 200 points down in the dow to now the ym dow future showing us a 90 point upside move so big whipsaw here already today 
and we also have to consider we could open and whipsaw right back down and retest those lows so unfortunately kind of a wild price action day and it may continue to be so so with that guys i want to wish you all the best i want to wish you great results in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning wish you all the best